Hey everyone, it's Jeremy with Teletone. Got kind of a two for one quick video I wanted to do today. It's a little bit technical and a little bit uh, tips and tricks. So let's jump on in. I wanna show you how to utilize uh, the multi-output function of SoulFi and kind of combine that with uh, a sidechain function. So you can see I have SoulFi loaded up here and I have the Beat 93 Seller loaded up. It sounds like this. And one trick that I did on a lot of the demos and, and including the trailer uh, for SoulFi was sending the kick out through a separate stereo output in contact and then using that to sidechain the rest of the kit. And so in order to do that, the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna pull up, I'm in Cubase, uh, but this will look similar to you. You're gonna activate uh, another output. If you were gonna send out um, several things through different outputs, you would check more than one, but I'm just gonna check stereo two uh, to send the kick out through that one. So we're on the kick tab and let's send this out through stereo two. Now this is going to bypass all of the sound design effects. So now the kick is gonna be uh, completely dry when we play this. So already you can hear that there's kind of a pretty big volume difference. So I'm gonna to try to replicate some of this sound design stuff here. And I'll explain some of this stuff in another video for another time. So I think we got the kick sounding about like I want it to. Now, in case you've never done side chaining before, you're gonna take the channel that you are wanting to squash and just load up a compressor. I'm just gonna use the built-in Cubase one for now. Uh, but most of your plug-in compressors are gonna have this option. Uh, and there's a little icon. This is the side chain. We're gonna activate it and then um, you can compress it as much as you want. This has an auto makeup gain. Uh, we'll come back to this in just a second. And so now you have to take the channel that your kick is on, which is this contact stereo two channel, and we need to kind of send it over to the other channel. So the way we're gonna do this is right here through the sends. So side chains, contact stereo one, turn it on. And now it's going to automatically start side chaining the rest of uh, all those tops uh, from the beat. And so that's basically how you do it. But to take this one step further, you can um, you don't just have to you know randomly blindly side chain something. Uh, there's a way to get a little bit more out of it if you want to do a slightly more detailed and maybe more sophisticated version of this, uh, you can set the release time to kind of sync up with either maybe a, a quarter note or an eighth note. And the, the timing on that is going to depend on the BPM of your DAW. And the way you do that is you take the BPM of your DAW and you divide 60,000 by that number. And so 60,000 divided by 93 is going to be 600 and I'll just do it. 645. So if we wanted a quarter note release on this, we could set this to 645 milliseconds. I should probably pause for a second and say that, you know, doing this method is not going to give you perfectly timed quarter note and eighth note sidechain releases that you can hear perfectly in rhythm. That's not really how compressors work, but I think that this is a good place to kind of start and then use your ear from here to kind of adjust it. But um, it's definitely fun to, to try it as a starting point. If you wanted to do an eighth note pattern, you're just gonna take this and divide it by two. So that'd be like 322 and a half. We'll just say 322. And this makeup gain is a little bit aggressive. Um, I don't think I want it quite as much as it's pushing back here. So now that it kind of ebbs and flows with the kick drum a little bit better, uh, you can also just set the release to as fast as possible and then you're gonna hear it respond very quickly. But that's just a little fun tutorial I thought I'd show you. I use that trick a lot for most of the demos that you're hearing online, and that's something you can easily do. The first time you do it, it feels a little bit confusing, but after you do it once, it's, it's not actually complicated at all. 
Uh, so I hope that was helpful.